from Nutrition at Home After Critical Illness. This video will describe some general advice on how to eat well and help you recover after critical illness. However, for more individualized advice, please speak to your GP or dietitian. This video was produced with the support of an educational grant from Nutrinovo, manufacturers of ProSource clinical nutrition products. The company has had no involvement or influence in the content of this video. There are four parts to this video series. Part one introduces you to the importance of food and nutrition after critical illness. Part two and three provide some ideas on how to increase your nutritional intake. And part four introduces you to dysphagia, also known as swallowing difficulties. So why might you need to change the way you normally eat? You may have recently been discharged from a hospital after being critically unwell, maybe with coronavirus or some other reason for admission to the ICU. Now that you're home, you should try to recuperate, recover the best you can. And nutrition and hydration are extremely important to you in this period of recovery. You may find that being in hospital, your eating habits or your appetite may have been changed. Therefore, to fully recover, you likely need to eat differently than you once did. This is because you may have lost weight and particularly muscle. You may have a reduced appetite for a variety of reasons. You may become full more easily or be overfaced by large amounts of food when you weren't before. You may have difficulty swallowing or chewing foods. Additionally, activities of daily living that were easy to do before the hospital admission might be much more difficult to do and you might become more fatigued and tired much more quickly. Therefore, it is important to eat a diet of adequate vitamins and minerals, but also as well to have enough energy, that's calories, and in particular, protein. And protein is the thing that helps you rebuild some of that muscle mass that you may have lost during your admission. This may be more protein than normal, and this is to help maintain and support the building of your strength back to what it once was before. Don't worry if it takes a long time to regain your weight, your muscle mass, your energy, and your health and well-being. If you had excess weight before entering the ICU and lost weight during your stay, aim to maintain your weight and gradually rebuild strength and muscle using protein-rich foods and resistance-based exercise. You may have even been prescribed high energy, high protein supplement drinks from hospital on discharge. Now these can be really helpful, especially if you're struggling to maintain your weight on a high energy, high protein diet alone. So, protein. Your body uses protein to build and repair tissues. Protein is an important building block of bones, muscle, cartilage, skin, hair, nails, and blood. Protein is an important building block which helps build our body to recover, repair, and regain our strength. The long-term after effects of critical illness include loss of muscle protein and difficulty in regaining some muscle mass and strength. Eating enough protein alongside doing the appropriate physical activity will help with this. Note, if you have kidney disease, please ask your doctor or dietitian for advice on protein intake. Protein is found in foods such as meat, chicken, fish, and eggs. Other protein-containing foods are milk and dairy products, cheese and yogurt, for example, soy, corn, and pulses. We will provide you with some ideas of how to add more protein in your diet throughout the video. Follow some of the helpful tips in the video to restore your strength and improve your recovery following critical illness. So, what can you do to help you recover your daily dietary intake? Try to drink one pint of fortified milk a day. Aim to use this as a drink or cooking throughout the day. Try to eat at least two small fortified snacks per day. Aim to have these after or before your meals. Try to eat at least three small fortified meals a day. Aim to eat these with other people if you can. Try not to drink fluids right before a meal. Aim to drink these after your meal to stop you from feeling full whilst you're eating. Try to include protein-rich foods in your diet at each meal and each snack. Try to make fortified meals in bulk, freeze small individual portions, or ask for help from family or friends if you need it. 
So what does the word fortified mean? Fortified means a food or a drink that has extra nutrients added to it or has nutrients added that aren't normally there. For example, using food and drinks that are higher in energy, that's calories, protein, or other nutrients to add to small meals, snacks, or drinks that you have in the day, thereby making them much more nutrient dense and nourishing, but without increasing the amount you have to eat in a day. Next important thing to do is to ensure that your meals have adequate amounts of protein. They can be found in meats such as chicken, pork and beef. Now try to choose cuts without too much fat on them. If you find it too difficult to chew or swallow meat, cut them up into small pieces or having them with gravy if it's too dry for you. You will find protein in fish or seafood. Try to have oily fish at least twice a week. This includes salmon, mackerel or sardines. These are heart healthy and contain important vitamins and minerals. For example, seafood including prawns, scallops and mussels are also high in protein. Eggs are another source of protein. Pulses, which are high in fibre and contain iron. Vegetable protein alternatives can be used such as tofu, tempeh or corn. Catch part two of this series for some high calorie, high protein food ideas.